All right, so this is the newest resin 3D printer from Creality, and this is the LD002R. And I'm going to show you how detailed you can get with this and how this is going to really change how you make castable jewelry. And for under $200. So let's get started. So as you can see, I already printed an Eiffel Tower inside of here, which was the supplied uh, file for testing it. And this took 19 hours. So it's not the fastest thing in the world, but 3D printing is not the fastest type of manufacturing. So just like my other printers that are in the same form factor as this one, it has a small touch screen down here. The only difference is its power button is on the front, which is really nice. And you don't have to reach around the back or somewhere on the side to turn it on. It's very simple inside of the controls. It's basically the same setup as almost every printer. It's pretty much standard now. So as you can see here, this is the Eiffel Tower um, file that I printed. There's a free software called TutuBox that you can put your own files onto. And you can find files on a website called Thingiverse to print out for yourself. So this particular printer has a 4K LCD screen on it with anti-aliasing, so you can really get crisp uh, prints out of it without the weird pixelation that you can get on other printers that don't have anti-aliasing. But with all that said and all that technical jargon, how does it print is probably what you're thinking. And we're going to see. So I'm gonna take this out and clean it up and see how well it actually did. Yeah, with the top on this, you can't smell this going at all. But as soon as you take it off, the whole room will smell like resin. The other thing with all resin printers, as soon as you get this open and everything like that, you can wear a face mask if you don't wanna be breathing in the resin fumes or just be in a ventilated area. And you have to wear gloves. If you touch this, it can react with your skin or give you an allergic reaction to sunlight after a while or just get into your skin and harden and give you rashes. So make sure to wear gloves. So I'm going to be using a wash and cure system that I've shown off in previous videos, and you can find a link to that right up here. But basically this is isopropylate alcohol, and it will clean off any of the uncured resin from our piece. And then once that's done, I will take this off and then cure the entire piece all the way so we can handle it and see all the details. So that being said, this build plate doesn't actually fit onto this, but someone has designed this little holder for it that goes right onto it and we'll hold it in there. And you can find this on Thingiverse and I'll have a link to it. So basically there's only one screw up here that you undo and then you can slide this off. So you can see the resin falling off of it. It's not quite enough alcohol in here for this piece and I can't make it go down any lower, but I'll make it work. So the build plate itself has a nice texturing on it, but it also makes it really hard to get stuff off with the little rubber spatula that came with this. So I did have to use a metal one and a hammer to actually break that Eiffel Tower free on each foot just to get it off. So it grips really good, but it grips really good. So. Keep that in mind if you do get one of these. So this particular printer does come with a decent amount of extras with it. So it comes with a USB drive. So this is what you would put your files onto it with. And it's just a standard USB drive. You can really use any USB drive, but it's good that they provide you with one. It also comes with a few face masks and some gloves. Because like I said, you need gloves and you're going to need a lot more than what comes with this, but at least it's a start. Comes with two scrapers, a plastic one and metal one, which you absolutely need these to get stuff off the build plate. And like I said, you have to use this sometimes with a hammer to get it off and be very careful not to damage your build plate. So it also comes with a paintbrush. I am assuming this is to help clean out your vat, but I haven't used a paintbrush for anything with resin printing yet. So paintbrush. Also some filters. These are so when you are done with your resin, you can pour it through here and pour it back into your container so it doesn't cure. So this is something different that normally doesn't come with the printers. It is replacement film for the printer, which is for your vat. 
because those do go bad after a while and replacing them, you usually have to go buy and find the right replacement. This actually comes with it. So it also comes with a user's manual. These are pretty simple right out of the box and they're pretty much ready to go. All you have to do is make sure that the spacing between the build plate and the vat are the proper spec. And that's really easy to do just using a piece of paper and loosening all your screws and then retightening your screws. Also has a after sales card with the warranty and everything, along with all the tools needed to basically tear down the entire machine. All right, so here it is off the build plate and everything and all cleaned up, but it still needs to actually cure. And that's what this also does is there's an array of UV lights on the back and this little spinning turntable that will cure it. But I need to let it dry off completely of all the alcohol that's on it. So it just doesn't get all weird and chalky. But you can see the incredible details on this from this very cheap printer. And then once it's all cured and everything, we can actually take an even better look at it. All right, so I'm gonna go over the extreme details on this piece. So as you can see, it did a really good job. Like for instance, look at the railing that's on here. It's just the tiniest little pieces. And in this archway, there's not really too much lines in it. You can see a little bit, but if you're going to be casting something, all of that would polish down really nice. I'm coming at this at a basically casting perspective. So I don't care about the normal 3D printing model stuff. I care about what it will be after it becomes metal. And look at that detail on the top of this thing. That looks like a little old fashioned like ray gun with a little ball and the pieces on top. But yeah, it's really nicely done and all the details are there. So something like this could totally be turned into an awesome ring with all these like bracing X structures and you'd be able to actually print all of that out. Even the underside here, you could see the detail in it. Even the floor in here is just super smooth. And then the connection between the floor and the rest of the tower is like seamless. So this particular printer didn't come with any resin, but I'm using some of the resin that I already have, which is this right here. And you can buy a wax resin like I've been talking about. So you can start casting everything into jewelry. So that being said, this wax resin here, which is 500 milliliters, and this one that is a thousand, I believe, are vastly different in price. This is about a 80 to hundred dollars, and this is about 20 bucks. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna be doing a lot of testing in regards to this stuff because I saw somewhere that you can actually cast using this and it's much cheaper to use. And if you can do that, it would save a ton of money in casting. But I'm going to use this also. And I'm talking all this stuff about casting and I've been showing off a lot of resin 3D printers just so everyone can get a feel for what they would like if they wanna use one. You don't have to use a resin 3D printer if you don't have the capability of building models or paying someone to build your models for you. Seeing that 3D design is a whole nother thing that you'd have to learn. But that being said, you can pay someone to do it and make your designs for you. So overall, I really like this printer. It's really easy to work with. It's so far had no problems and it did the longest print of any of the ones that I've used so far at 19 hours. Normally I do about like two to four hour prints and letting this sit for that long was new to me because I don't typically make things that are that big when resin printing. So Creality sent this over to me free of charge and you can find links to it in the description below. It is $199 shipped in the US right now. And that's actually a really good price for what you get out of this. So I'll be using this printer along with others to make stuff for casting in the future. I'm just waiting on a couple more parts to come in so I can actually use my entire casting system and finally make all those casting videos. But 
That's about it for this video. If you want to see other videos about 3D printing, there's going to be a playlist here, and there's a playlist down here about other jewelry techniques and other jewelry videos in general. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.